Before I start the download and installation, I want to point out that if you are current Autodesk user, then you can find those downloads also from manage.autodesk.com website. From here you have different possibilities how you can download, install. You can also find your serial numbers. And if you are educational user, then you might want to go also to autodesk.com education portal. Because, for example, if you haven't initiated a new product, new version from here, which is not available at manage.autodesk.com website, you probably have to do it first from this portal and then this new product will go also to manage.autodesk.com portal. In both ways, you can successfully install and activate your product. It is just for later cases that manage.autodesk is probably more convenient to use for any other installations. And also, if you are a current user, you can find those new products directly from Autodesk desktop app. So you can also start installation from here. As you see, there are different ways how you can do that. But uh, don't worry, in all those cases, the end result is the same because you basically use the same installation, download installation procedure, and your serial number or the activation will define how you start using your product. As a commercial user, as an educational user, or maybe you just want to try out those products. In that case, you don't need any serial number, but quite possibly those products are working in your machine up to 30 days. Let's move back to autodesk.com website and let's pick our product to install. In this video, I will download and install Autodesk Revit 2023. You can find download options or Revit landing page from Products and Revit or you can use a quicker way. You can include slash and Revit and you can also go to Revit landing page. Then you can click download free trial and you have to have Autodesk account to be able to download and install Autodesk Revit. If you don't have it, you can create it for free. But if you already have it, then you can just log in with your current one. If you haven't, you can create one, create account. But I do have my own ready and activated. So I will use my current account. So email and password. And then I have to select some options to describe my use case. Any option will go, but as you see, Autodesk just wants to know something about you. Then I click next. You have to include also some company information and you hit next again. And now you can select how you want to download, install your Autodesk Revit 2023. From here, you can see that uh, by default, I have Windows. Revit is available for Windows only and version number 2023 and language English. But you can select different language if you want to. Then please pay attention to that. You can also select the installation method. Is it install or is it download? This install means that uh, you are downloading very small portion of installation files. And during installation, you will start to download additional files. So during installation, you also do need to have a good internet connection. Now, why I prefer this download is that uh, you download your files first and then at later times or next day, you can install your product and you can also download those files to your portable drive and install Autodesk Revit into different machines. Obviously, this install option will download all files as well, but it will download those files to default location. And I believe that it's not so convenient to move those files to portable drive. You have to know which files as such. So that's a key reason why I suggest to use download option. I select download and now please pay attention to that you are downloading your files 
through your browser or it's also called browser download and as such you will see multiple save as dialogs because your download size is bigger than two gigabytes and usually those bigger installation files are divided into smaller portions into two gigabytes portions and if you start your downloading you will see also how many files you have to download in here you have 01 05 which means that you actually have five save as dialogs and you have to point to where you want to download those the order you will see those save as dialogs may differ in my case i have one file as a first so i click save into my folder i select now you can see second i click save again now number four save number three save again and number five save again as you see three four five files are downloaded and once those are downloaded we move forward and to extraction of those files and then we start installation so let's wait a bit once your download is finished you have to extract your installation files as you see once again i do have five files and i just click on this first one 0105 double click and by doing that my extraction process will start i will show my folder into where i want to extract those files and then i can also start installation so i will select the same folder like this and i hit ok once extraction is finished you can delete those exa files you don't need those anymore and you can fire up your installation from this folder directly but after extraction the installation will start automatically if you want to install it at later times of course you can dismiss the installation dialog and do that at later times as i can see it's about 12 gigabytes my total size of my installation files but in revit you have to keep in mind that some localizations are not downloaded straight away and you have to add those after installation we will take a quick look also to that how you can add some content after installation okay extraction is finished and now you should see that uh, your windows may ask you to give access to this installation file so you click yes if you see user control access dialog and now the installation screen will start automatically you have to agree with license agreement by clicking i agree and then next and then you can select the folder product as a c drive default location is good enough and also content program data again default location is good enough and you can now just simply click install and because all your files are downloaded the installation itself should be quite quick if you need to fire up this installation at later times or in different machine then you can do that by using this setup file that you can find from this Revit folder let's wait a bit once our Revit will be installed during installation or when the installation is quite finished you may already see notification about that you can start your Autodesk Revit and you can also find an icon from your desktop Revit 2023 but let's wait a bit and once my installation is fully finished I can then select start which will open up my Revit directly or I can close this dialog and then I can fire up my Autodesk Revit 2023 from this icon obviously I can also see from my products Revit 2023 but let's open up from this icon right now you will see a start screen user interface is loading of course I haven't activated my product I will see some marketing so I close this dialog 
And then I have my desktop ready from where I can actually test the product, but also I can activate my product through this button, which says about how many days I have left of my trial. I can do that at any time. And from your manage.autodesk.com website, web page, or from your educational portal, you can get your serial number if you are current user. But obviously, you have to subscribe if you are new user and want to try the product after those days. From my start screen, I can see some sample models and also some components which are called in Autodesk Revit as families. The same continues from the left-hand side, from where I can open up a new model or new project. I can create a new one and also the same options for components or families. Let's click on this new button by creating a new Revit model. And let's see some basics in terms of how you can create a new project and from where you can check what kind of templates you can use and also into which folder your content has been installed. If you click this new button, you can select which project template you want to use. Currently, I do have post options, Imperial and Metric. Because I'm Metric user, I will select Metric Architectural. But Revit includes toolset for structural, but also MEP or systems purposes. So those templates define some preliminary settings, how you will see components and what is the setup of project structure. I will select my metric. If you have your own template, you can click browse and select this one instead. And then you keep create new project, not project template, create new project and you hit OK. Now the full user interface will load and in Revit you will see your tools through ribbon tabs. You can click each one of them and by default you will also see properties palette and also your project browser which shows your project structure. And once you start creating something and adding, let's say, sections and floor plans and as such, also your project structure will change. In Revit, you can save your project, save or save as project, and Revit file type is RVT. There are different file types, for example, RTE is for templates, and for families, it's again different file extension or ending. And let's also quickly check some Revit options. If you click again File and now Options, then you move to File Locations. And from this first part, you can see which templates are available once you start to create your new project. As I showed you before, this was actually the list from where I selected my template. But if you want to clean it up, you can do that, just removing those templates that you don't need. And you can also add some templates if you have some previous ones. Also, you can see default location path values from where those files are selected. For example, if I click browse, then currently I'm at family templates folder. If you select upper folder and select libraries, then from here, you can find content which can be used from project to project. But this may be limited, which means that by default, you don't have, let's say so, additional content packs, but you have very basic ones at the very beginning. And you have to download additional content packs based on your country or based on your interests. How you can do that? I hit cancel. OK in here because I made some changes. And now if I select my Autodesk desktop app, I should see some updates available directly from this screen. But if they are not yet available, then probably you have to wait a bit. There are several options from where you can download additional content packs. For example, you can include the content 
also one by one, which means that you select Insert tab and then you have Option Load Autodesk Family. You select this one and from here you have different categories and options available. For example, Localization, Local Settings. You can select which content pack is preferred. In my case, I select United States metric and English. And also I can select different view types and then I can simply go and select content which I really need. So I don't have to install the full content pack, but I can do that one by one. Of course, I suggest that you download full content pack, at least one of them. Let's say so if you are Imperial user, then default Imperial content. And if you are metric user, then default metric content pack. So you have different options, different ways how you can extend your Autodesk Revit in terms of content. You most probably can also download uh, different content packs from uh, different websites. And then you can include those by using load family button. Yeah? In my later videos, I will also do some quick tests about um, Autodesk Revit performance when compared with Autodesk Revit 2022 or previous version. Yes, some simple performance tests. So please do subscribe to my channel to be able to see those tests straight away once I have uploaded those into my channel. Happy testing of Autodesk Revit 2023 and see you next time. Bye bye.